right, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's see, we're going to play some Empire Total War this morning. Get that started here. We'll continue on our playthrough of that. As I was saying, I started a few of these playthroughs and I just want to finish them, get them out there. And then we'll go on to, uh, we'll see, we'll see if we can, I'd like to get a more, the, maybe a, a, a game that's more technical. Sega. These are fun though. I really like these games. They're just they're good. Creative Assembly, they made some really good games over the years. Alright, now we're gonna continue our campaign. Let's see where we left off. Yes, that's right. Ooh. Uh, he's got a pretty big army. It's not much. We'll have to see where that army goes. Uh, it, we'll have to see where it goes. That's right. So... Is it enough... No, I have to actually get him over to that. Uh, oh, this was the end of the turn. All right, let's finish the turn here. We'll be making not bad money. Not bad, that's right. We've just taken over this settlement here. That's right. I should put some dragoons up there is what I should do just for civil order. And then we need to consider uh, taking out these two settlements here. That's where we'll go next. Uh, I hesitate to attack the British right away. They're very strong. And uh, yeah, they're very strong, so you have to be really careful. It could be a it could be a long, drawn out process. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Oh, they're on Building here. plantations here will uh, increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international trade. What are we researching here? Ah, uh, square formation. Excellent. And then we'll do canister shot. Do those are good for defense. You kind of need those right away. Canister shot's good. Get some early. Uh, good. North America is not bad. We're kind of holding off on that for now. Uh, like I say, a lot of it is, is taxation, right? Taxation is what gets us our. So now we're into the. Unfortunately, we could spend the next th uh, three years just upgrading our taxes. And I don't want that. What I want to do is I'd like to recruit uh, a couple of dragoons. Okay, we do actually have not too bad of an army there, but I want to leave. I want to leave this army here. And I want to go. I want to, I'm going to replace this army with the dragoons. A couple of dragoons should be all right. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I will wait this turn. Cobblestone pretty much everywhere except for here. That and then okay, and then cobble still there next turn. Yeah, that should be good. That probably boosts your trade. Not really. Um, yeah, okay, and then next next turn basically we're gonna need to go to war here. Yeah, Britain doesn't really know what it's doing, they're just producing units. So there's two ways to go about that. We could land and we could try and defeat their main army. You have to go all the way up to Ireland to uh, to fully defeat them. You need all all three of them. So if you take if you sack England, for example, I uh, just sack it instead of actually conquering it because they resist and they resist and they resist and they resist. It takes a long time to uh, you have to completely destroy them. So I wonder I wonder what will happen to. 
13 colonies. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become uh, too unhappy. That? Oh, yeah. I'm going to lose this one anyways. The rioters by lowering taxes I don't really care too much or sending the so... troops to put them down. Whatever you do, act quickly before the riot becomes a rebellion. No, it looks like he's got something going on there. All right, let's take these dragoons. They're just like, ah, uh, they're like police, basically. guys in here. Uh, and then let's get them in there. Alright, and they're gonna sail around. Perfect. Yeah, so if you upgrade tax buildings. Uh, where is that? New town here, okay. Um let's get let's get money. Shop pretty good. All right, now for research, we want this and improve grenades, and that's going to allow, allow us to upgrade to an ordnance factory. We want the ordnance factory as soon as we can. Um, right. So at this point, now we could pretty much, pretty much go to war. Pretty much go to war. That's, that's a pretty decent army he's got. Pikemen. Problem. I can leave France with this army, but uh, we're, it leaves us vulnerable, right? It leaves us very vulnerable. I'm surprised. Usually England declares war on me by now. Yeah, it would be nice to have, because you, um, you need a main force. And you also need like, uh, um, are they rioting over here? What's going on? Ooh, that's expensive. Uh, what is going on? Policies. Why are you so mad? Montreal. We're actually losing money. Upgrade your ports. Okay, so this is kind of where we need this here. We need division of labor. So we'll get canister shot and then we'll get division of labor and that'll allow us to upgrade our ports. Then we can get more money through exports. Um I don't know what to do with the happiness. Really, I could adjust taxes, I guess. I could bring taxes down. We can do that. Try to offset growth. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go through one more turn here. I should defeat England. Yeah. It was going to be so tough. The riot in this region has grown into an armed rebellion. There is no more time to negotiate oh, a peaceful wow. solution. Send troops in at once <laughs> to defeat the rebels. Uh, I don't think that is going to be a possibility. Now, these ones here, I normally go with, uh, I normally go with happiness. And... That's usually pretty good. Am I upgrading the infrastructure? I am. Okay, perfect. All right, and then what have we got here? For double, Captain. We, oui, Captain. And I can. Right, we, uh, we 
do they need as a church? That's what we really need as a church. Okay. Good. I can recruit three per turn. Uh, one, two, three. And then if I get some more cavalry. Yeah, these guys are getting strong. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, Assassinate. Okay. Try, anyways. Try. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm waiting for this army here. I'd like to be able to leave. But I don't even know if uh, that is going to be enough to save it. Eh. We'll see. The dragoons might be enough. If not, eh, we'll see. It's always a gamble sometimes. But we're getting late. 1707 already. We need to start making some moves here. Or else we're gonna be we're gonna get overrun. Although the age of large-scale official buccaneering is over, due to bigger and better organized navies, enemy shipping is still fair game in times of war. Right-click on the trade route to draw additional income from... Funds are deducted from your treasury at the beginning of each turn to pay for the supplies and wages of your troops in the field. This is known as unit upkeep. Unit upkeep? All right, so we have those dragoons. Uh, that's a pretty decent force. Um, I would get some more, arguably, if we got some more cavalry, we could start assaulting with that force there. And then this is going to be kind of like our backup. A blockade uh, is a cordon of ships used to prevent the enemy from. Our backup to a army port. that we'll keep or here. He's just going to. Space there. You can blockade a port by right-clicking on it as you would another fleet. If there is an enemy fleet Perfect. inside, a cordon graphic will appear to indicate a blockade Excellent. is underway. Excellent. Otherwise, your fleet will say. Uh -huh. Blockade is uh -huh. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need this one here. We need division of labor. These are good. They're good early techs, right? I, I should have gone for that already. Um, if you play... Well, I'll do it all, My second campaign will run through as India. We'll see how far we get with this one. And uh, you'll see. You start making... Because you get all the exports when you're in India, right? And you start making just ridiculous amounts of money if you upgrade your ports right away. So, all right, anyways. Uh, yeah, so we lost this territory here. Nah, I don't really care too much about it, to be honest. Uh, I'll move them. Can I move them? When defending your territory, it's important to know how far any uh, armies are able to move. Oh, I can't leave the fort? Oh, yeah, I would just retreat. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with retreating for now. Alright, so that's where we are there. Uh, can we sail? We can. Let's get here to the fort. And let's make an army. And then... They can't move to the next turn. Okay, so we'll take our army and yeah, let's go. Let's go. Um, As a unit fights and survives, battle, yeah, what we need is more cavalry. It gains experience points that improve right, its ability. Next turn, we'll have enough cavalry. That should be the end of that.
ideally what you need in North America because the distances are so great. You want the horse, the eight pound uh, cannons that carry on horseback. That way you can just maneuver around easily and you can call sort of the armies. And but this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna go to war here. This is gonna be interesting. So what I do, I, I would usually I sack England, but I don't think, I think I'm gonna go around. We're gonna go Ireland and the other way. So now what we need to do is we need to start building up another army in North Rioting America. has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either appease the rioters by lowering taxes or send in the troops there we go. to put them down. Whatever you do, so once the governor's palace is done, the right becomes a rebellion. Uh, okay, got some cavalry. There we go. New port. Uh, where is this? Oh, perfect. Um, let's make this a. Do we have? That's, I don't actually have a um, a dry dock. Now, when I take these, I'll have a dry dock. So perhaps what I'll do, we'll just keep these as trading ports for now. We'll see how long. We get. Emerges. Um, it's important to keep having this up. That way we can get, we'll get lots of taxes. Okay, so we have some cavalry. Let's get you in there. There we go. That's a pretty decent force. Alright. This flag here can conquer, can conquer all of North America. Uh, and then we just need a few more recruits just to kind of hold the, uh, there we go. Yeah, just to kind of hold the pack there. I guess I didn't succeed in assassinating. Uh, you can move your, use this panel to select the action you wish you're clicking on the sabotage button means your agent uh, will attempt to damage a building upon arrival at his destination. As with all subterfuge actions, oh, nice. there is a percentage chance of success <laughs> and failure may mean capture and execution. That's right, that's the risks. Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, all right. how far were we able to march? We'll need to there. Yeah, we'll go there next. Now, they're allied. I don't know if I can trade anymore because of my ports, but... The uh, National Summary tab is used to display... Mm -hmm. Diplomacy, there it is, diplomatic relations. Now they are these ones here, right? Are they they have no allies? Okay, and they're trading with them. Okay, perfect. So I should be able to declare war on them without the thing is, is you want to try to avoid war with England. <laughs> Especially in the early game, because they could be it could be hard to defeat them, right? So But once they see you getting a foothold in North America, they'll jump in the war. Seventeen ten, maybe. Eventually, they'll they'll just they'll say I've had enough. It's time to go. But there are lots of battles coming up. There will be. Once we get a, a foothold and a couple of good armies established, and we start building momentum, there will be lots of battles. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. These guys are always hard to beat because they're very, they have very high morale, their troops don't run away, and they, they can hide in the grass, so you never know. You defeat what's there and you think, like in the last battle, you think, oh, I've won, and then there's a whole bunch more of them just hiding out. All right, so, uh, 
Uh, let's get our cannons again. Here, let's do this. We'll do this. And uh, we will. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. I don't have fire by rank, so without fire by rank, you want to keep them. You want to spread these guys out. Once you get fire by rank, you don't need to spread them out anymore, and they'll fire one, two, three, four, five. But without f uh, fire by rank, you are extremely limited. Okay, and then I'll leave him here. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, we'll get off auto battle here. Fire... Fire at them. No, we don't want the general to be there, but... There goes their general. That was easy. We have square formation, so if we get up against any cavalry, we've got square formation. I just want to see where he goes. Oh, they're, they're afraid. I'd be afraid too, the cannonballs. If he comes heavy on this side, we'll send a couple over. So hard to, yeah, we'll have to break this up. All right, let's get a couple here. And let's get you guys over here as he's trying to flank us on this side. All right, perfect. General in the middle. Mostly infantry, so once he gets close, we'll just shoot him down. Oh, we do have canister shot. Hey, yes, see? That is our close range, kind of. Uh, let's see if I can... I don't know if I can spread these guys out even further. We can do that. Uh, and then... is going to try and engage me right here.
think these are just skirmishers here. Bowman, yeah. They've got pretty good range. what to do. Once he engages, I'm just going to try and, and he's just going to line up and uh, we'll try and trap him. See if we can't trap him. Yeah, there we go. Attack them next. We could try. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's try, let's try this here. They're basic they're basically peasants these guys just everyday citizens with pitchforks pretty much so if we could break them and get them to run Basically just causing panic at this point in time with the cavalry. Just causing they're running already, so we just cause panic. Too far, they'll lure us. They'll lure us back. We don't want that. There we go. 
All right, now we can use the infantry. So he'll come into this side here. And uh, you know what? Let's halt you. And then. Let's do this here. now. If I can make enough of the route at this point in time. Are these Lancers? There must be more hiding somewhere. See, we got lots of experience. That's the good thing about the manual battles, is you get all the experience. Cool. All right. Now we want to destroy those buildings.
destroy the farm because you can't upgrade. You can upgrade the industrial buildings, but you can't upgrade the farms. So that's why it's really important to destroy the farms if you want to keep them. Uh, we should recruit a couple of these dragons just to leave behind. And then, hmm, I wonder if it's, if it's worth it just to send kind of a detachment. What has he got left? Just three territories? I think I can take those three territories. They rebel too bad. With the dragoons? That should be alright. Okay. Oh, we're, and of course that's going to be exempt from taxes. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what we're going here. Try and do more navy battles as well. I, I usually focus on land battles. That's just the way it is. But the navy battles are. There is unused land suitable for farming in this. All region. right, so building farms here. Upgrade will help that. The population to grow over time. And then we want to upgrade the trading. farm, so we can further upgrade that. Yeah, you see, we're running out of money. Uh, so what I want to do is send you down here. That's fine. And it's two turns either way. Okay, we'll accept it from tax. We're still going to be upset for at least a turn. And then that, once we eliminate them right away, that's that's going to be key here. Eliminating them right away. Uh, yeah, let's try and help the economy a little bit. Ooh, look what he's got here. Ooh, that's a pretty big army. So that's the next step. Once we've defeated, once we captured these three territories, uh, the next step will be either these two territories here, and then and then we have to defeat England, right? So we have a foothold now. We have some territories. We have a little bit of taxes, right? Which is allows us to support our. Did I? I didn't recruit anything, did I? No, I didn't. I built the farm. Yeah, so I'll have to wait another turn. It's really important to get those buildings so you can get taxes. Seven. We're getting seven dollars for that territory. All right, let's go through one more turn and see what happens here. Yeah, and you want to get take care of England before they get too strong. If they get too strong, it's going to take it'll drag us down. It'll bog us down trying to capture them, right? So what they tend to do is they'll they'll break up and they'll send a whole bunch of like single units or two or three units in a little flag and they'll send them all over your empire, raising your buildings, doing all that kind of stuff, right? It's it's really so that's why when you're planning to take someone on, you want to make sure that you're aware of that. Because if they just splinter out, they can really cripple your empire by literally lighting all your buildings on fire so you have no income, right? Town used to represent the wealth of the population of a town, city, uh, port, okay. or resource. Uh, so the level of town that. wealth is dictated by the income provided by buildings and taxation. Region wealth is essentially the sum of town wealth and building or taxation income across a whole region. Ooh, I like it. All right, let's uh, not much here. Let's 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 do another manual battle. Why not? I say we're gonna manual everyone, so we gotta manual it. This should be pretty easy. This one. It's foggy. Here. Um, let's see, I'll put those there. And then one, two, three, five. We'll 
bit thick on this side. I can't wait till I get fired by rank. Probably eliminate them with just my cavalry. Yeah, probably because they're peasants. They're 99. There's only three units in there that are actually fighting units. There's three bowmen, I think. Where is it here? Bowmen. And I think the rest are all peasants. As soon as I get close to them with my cavalry, they'll round. So there, let's do that. Run over here. And notice that the cavalry are all melee. That's the best form of cavalry. And then when you get the heavy cavalry, oh, you can do some really happy stuff. Right, you're only going to be able to go so far with these light armies. And then you have to upgrade to medium and heavy. Or else you're just not gonna have the you're just not gonna have the impact. All right, so I'll let them get a little bit closer, and then yeah, isn't that, is that the bowman over there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, let's see. Have to cast your shot. It's good for your infantry to shoot them away as well. That's how they gain experience. And I guess when they engage in skirmishes.
Well, that was a job well done by the cavalry, I'd say. Come back over here where it's safe. Any more experience? Well, yeah, okay, one of them got uh, two chevrons. That's cool. I wonder if he's going to try and run. He might try and run all the way over here, so we'll just we'll set him back here. And that way he's not going to try and run. Oh cool, they got a double chevron too. Cool! Yeah, you see, only the front line fires. So if you spread them out, you get more... Um, you get more out of it. Until you get fired by, by rank. I mean, you get fired by rank. The first row fires, the second row fires, then the third row fires. Then you can set them up in, in shorter blocks. But until you get fired by rank, the best way to do it is to... Uh, you gotta drag him out. Alright. Just engage him. So you get a lot more of them fire when you drag them up like that. But again, you can only drag them two rows wide. So that's the important thing about fire by rank. Oh, is he coming back on that side? Okay, these guys don't have any experience yet. Let's get them uh, engaging these, uh, these guys here. So we have an army and we have started to accelerate our our gains. Try and run around me. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. They got experience. Nice. So now every unit's got experience. Nice. Excellent. That's what we want. And the rest of those units are routing. And then what do we have here? Oh, uh, Warriors, okay, they're pretty tough. We'll, uh, we'll move back. I knew there was another, there was gonna be more. More two other than that. Okay, we'll go back here and we'll do that. Pretend like we're running away. I'm scared.
Yes. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? See if I can get some experience for my general here. Try and get out of the way before you, as the, they rush through your units, they'll kill a bunch of your units. You gotta be careful. Nice. You got some good, good experience at that. All right, so same with this, we'll destroy that. Perfect. Um, and then I guess we can carry on. This is where we need, uh, maybe I should have turned that into a church. Uh, this is where to be, we need something like that, right? So we can have missionaries. Just to change the population, it's it's a lot easier with when they're of the same religion and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, okay, so we could be there in like just a couple of turns from here and not worry about this territory and just eliminate them. I think that's what we're going to do. Occupying a port They'll riot for a minute and the then from trading through it and producing I think we'll ships. be okay. Note that a port cannot be besieged. Simply right click on the target port always, and uh, your army will walk straight in. Exactly. If an Dax, enemy army they will riot so bad. You will have to fight them immediately. Ooh, I have the cannon. Oh, we have the foot artillery. That is extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. Okay, let's save some money and then we get that foot artillery. Then we can. Then we have mobility with artillery on the field, which is really, really. That's a game changer. That's what's going to help us conquer uh, England, essentially. Ooh, that's perfect. Now, we should the next turn or so, we should be ready to, to upgrade our ports again. See how that goes. Rioting has broken out in this region um. as the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either appease the Austria lowering taxes or send in the troops to put them down. And all of their allies. Do do? Oh, does that mean Great Britain's going to join the war? The right becomes a rebellion. Oh, there we go. We're now at war with England. Ah, this is beautiful. Uh All right, perfect.
Excellent. So now we're going to need some more of these. Uh, we need some more military technology. Um, we can do this, and we can get a classical university. That would be nice for research. Um, 17 per turn versus the 13. I guess that's a bit of a boost. That's a big boost. You get 24 for that. Yes, 17 per turn. Too well, and then we kind of start needing like more of these technologies, right? So uh, let's get the ring bayonet, that'll be good. Then we can switch, then I can switch between okay. So we need to conquer this territory, and then uh, we're spread out pretty thin. So we then need to have a plan of attack on inland because they are they're gonna start coming at us in a big way. They're going to take this territory here. They're going to come this way. Um, so let's just... Let's just end them. Alright, you know what? I'm going to save this battle for the next video. That's all the time I have uh, today for this one. That's been quite a day. Um, so we'll continue the siege. Uh, I'm going to save the game. And that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one.